started one morning when Michael was eating breakfast. Suddenly, he saw his mother do something that looked like magic. Say, Mom, how'd you do that? This? It's my new bulletin board. Dad brought it to me last night. Yeah, but how does it work with these little magnets? Hey everyone, so we are doing a crowdfunding campaign on our own website for the Titan. It is going to be a titanium encased medical grade sensing magnet implant. It's going to be about uh, four and a half millimeters in diameter and 2.8 millimeters thick. Um, I have somewhat of a representation here. Uh, it's not it's not an actual prototype because those aren't made yet, but um, this is about how big it'll be. You can see, I'll put it on my pinky finger here. Yeah. So it's got a little, this one has a little shell on it, a little titanium shell. Uh, but, uh, but that's about the size of it right there. So tiny enough to go into fingers. Kind of see if I can get the camera to focus. Um, you know, it's going to be significantly smaller than XG3, uh, but still powerful. So this is the old M31. It's three millimeters. Come on, camera. It's three millimeters by third or, or uh, by one millimeter. So it's it's tiny um, in comparison. Uh, but we figured, you know, as long as we're doing this, it's N52 uh, strength and it is neodymium. So. Uh, we wanted to make sure that this little guy had um, the mix of being able to be uh, moved without much inertia. So, you know, good for sensing where you can sense high frequency stuff, um, you know, field changes, things like that. And, and very, um, you know, not very strong fields either. So you need to have a magnet that's very strong, uh, you know, Gauss rating, so a high field strength, but not a lot of inertia. Uh, meaning it's low mass and essentially if you encounter an external field that's either weak or vibrating or, or uh, modulating very quickly, you need that magnet to be able to move um, quickly without a lot of effort to get it to move. So it's kind of like uh, in the world of audio, you know, woofers versus tweeter speakers. Uh, woofers are great for low frequency. They move a lot of mass, you know, and, um, you know, what you usually end up with in terms of a sensing magnet, um, you know, you'll, you'll want to have something that will respond to these uh, different frequency ranges. So uh, essentially the idea here is that the titanium shell, while not, you know, in the micron thicknesses like we wanted to get with the M31, it is um, machined, milled titanium. Um, and we're dealing with thicknesses that are, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeter. Uh, so we're really trying to keep it as, as um, you know, the, the non-magnetic materials in the device, we're kind of keep those to a minimum while maintaining safety and, um, you know, kind of give this thing uh, a lifelong warranty like the rest of our implantable products. So um, I guess we can get into questions here. Um, why not go with Kickstarter, Indiegogo, and and why kind of host our own? Uh, and really the, the reasoning behind that is... Um, I've done Kickstarter campaigns, I've done Indiegogo campaigns, and it's not really, uh, I'm, in my view, for this kind of thing, it's not worth giving them 10 to 12% uh, of the campaign and have to raise the campaign goals just to cover the fees, blah, 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 blah. Um, it just didn't make sense. What if we don't reach our goal? I, I don't think that's going to be a problem, but if we don't reach the goal, uh, you'll have an option of getting a, a refund minus transaction fees, which I think are around... 15 bucks or something like that. Um, so you'll get a refund 485 or whatever. And then uh, that's one choice. And then the other choice is you can get a uh, refund, partial refund. Let me see if I can find my little, my little magnet here. Here it is. So you can get a partial refund um, and get a polymer coated magnet. So this is something that I've been working on uh, on the side, so we have our biopolymer, and we have a stock of old M31 magnets. So um, this is essentially, you know, what we're talking about doing. Um, it is uh, M31 encased in our biopolymer. It means that uh, you know, the polymer encasing is got a very good lifespan and everything, 
it's pretty tedious to make these. I don't want to make them in mass quantities, um, which is why we are exploring the, the titanium uh, version. Uh, one of the many reasons why we're ex exploring the titanium version. But, uh, you know, I don't want to make these because they're just magnets, you know, they when you're working with them, you can't have them too close because they click together and polymer is messy to work with at such tiny dimensions. And um, it's just not ideal. But uh, if we if we don't reach the goal, it means I don't have to make very many. <laughs> I just make a few uh, if you choose to do the, uh, the the refund plus polymer magnet. And I'm, I believe in the polymer um, encasement enough to give the life, same lifetime warranty on these that I would give uh, on the Titan. So um, it's just the fact that it's, you know, it's going to be 3.4 millimeters thick uh, with an, a three by one millimeter disc in there, the M31 and then a six millimeter diameter because again we can't get too close because of the weird idiosyncrasies of working with polymer so uh you can choose between getting the refund minus processing fees or um a partial refund half refund 250 bucks plus polymer magnet if we don't succeed in our our goal of raising the funds the next thing to talk about is timeline we basically have to run through the campaign, issue the go order with the factory. They need about a six week lead time for tooling and materials. We need to gather the titanium and get all the stuff, the jigs and everything prepared for that. And then uh, production will take two to four weeks. And then um, we'll do uh, some destructive testing. So we'll do scanning electron microscope inspection. We will run it through advanced um, aging, so chemical aging, um, ultrasonic bombardment, um, acid bath, just to see if we can get any corrosion on it whatsoever. And then um, after we're happy with that, we'll finalize and then start shipping. Uh, and that'll probably take about a week. So um, you're looking at anywhere between 11 and 13 weeks uh, at the end of the camp, from the end of the campaign, which is October 15th, I believe. The next question is, what if the magnets fail testing? Uh, well, if they fail testing, then we would go back to the factory and say, hey, you know, we gave you a PO with the specifics of the requirements, which include SEM passing and, um, you know, basically ensuring that the, the seal is complete and hermetic and all of that. And if they're not, then, then they need to fulfill that purchase order request with the specifications given. So and we've had many conversations about this, and um, so that'll be... Uh, fine. If they don't, they're, they're going to actually do testing it uh, on on their side before releasing to us, just to make sure that doesn't happen. So we're testing in both places, factory, and we'll do our own testing. What if the campaign succeeds, but I want my money back before the product ships? So uh, a lot of times, stuff like this, there might be a bit of um, you know excitement, and then you might get a little ahead of yourself and and back something like this, and then uh, need to back out. Um, well. Once the campaign, I mean, that might be possible during the campaign. It, it would be real disappointing, but it's possible. But once we talk about closing the campaign, particularly if it succeeds, obviously, um, then then the sales are final because then we've committed the money, that we've paid all the stuff, and um, it could, you know, it could basically really uh, be very painful for us. Um, and so, you know. Only back if you really need to, if you're, if you're really wanting to commit to this and, and back it. Do I get special treatment as a Titan campaign backer? And um, yes, you do. Uh, you will be the first inductees into the Dangerous Things Hall of Fame, uh, which right now has no inductees. So you'll be the first. Um, and then um, you will also get a 50%, for the most part, on average, 50% off coupon for products on the Dangerous Things store, good for a year, meaning you will be able to use that coupon over and over. It's your personalized coupon. Uh, it will be good for a year uh, from the end of the campaign to the next year. Um, most things are gonna be around 50%. We're gonna have to market based on, I mean, we're not gonna sell at a loss, uh, but we'll sell pretty close to cost on some of the stuff. So implantables, flex, stuff like that. We're gonna explore anywhere from you know 35 to 50% off on, on that kind of stuff. But again, this is like, you guys are history makers and um, this is the kind of stuff that, you know, that inspires me to keep doing the biohacking thing because it's, you know, we come together as a community, 
the whole idea of the Titan was kind of suggested on the forum. Uh, and then like I posted about some polymer work that I was doing and just trying to mess around and just show you what was going on. And then we kind of pushed this and, and through the community, we um, came up with this concept and now it's, you know, made calls and negotiated and got paperwork in place. And now we're, we're going to try this. So um what a what a time to be alive <laughs> um so anyway that's the video and yeah hopefully we'll succeed and this will be uh, a moment in in history really so exciting the site might be called dangerous things but remember safety first